if you feel like you're lost at all, I want to make sure that you're aware that we do have a baby steps meeting. Okay, we do have an official My AI onboarding meeting, and that is at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific. Okay, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific. We want to make sure that you have the little small step by steps. So, in this meeting, if you feel lost, overwhelmed, you feel like, oh my gosh, this is too advanced for me, no worries. We've got you. 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 noon Pacific, you will have that um, uh, baby steps meeting my AI onboarding, and we'll show you like the little steps. Now, we're still going to do a demo for you here. So don't run away and leave if you're brand new. Uh, we're still going to show you the demo. But we also get into some advanced topics here as well, because we really want you to understand the everything that the system does. Because even when we all first, you know, Cheryl and Adrian and I, when we, we first got the system all launched and everything else, we saw it, but we even didn't know everything that it could do until we started really using it ourselves. And then we were like, whoa, this is even bigger than what we thought. And so we want to make sure that all of you have that information, that all of you are really getting the most bang for your buck out of this amazing system. So here's how this is going to go. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do our demo, and we're going to show you how to make your social media posts. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our five-minute timer. And then we're going to go out and make a post. Now, of course, if you've been here before, you're more than welcome to make the post that you came with the idea with to do. It's going to help you with consistency. And that's the reason we put the timer up. If you come and you actually do the work with us in community like this, with all of us having fun together, you will get consistent very fast. It's when we're on our own trying to do stuff by ourselves that it's kind of like, oh, I don't feel like it. Oh, I'll do it later. Oh, I'll do this. And then your whole day went by and you never did your posts and you never did the things you needed to do. So this will help you keep on track to make you consistent. Consistency is king in everything. So after the five minutes, we'll come back. We'll showcase some posts. We'll have some uh, Q&A and uh, talk about some of the things of uh, the My AI system. So let's go ahead and get going. And remember, if you're brand new, we do a different demo every single day. That's why people keep coming. You're like probably looking at all the people putting sevens in there going, is it that hard that everybody needs to come over and over again? No, it's not that it's hard. It's that we teach you something different every single time. So literally we're helping you become a master at social media. So that's why everybody comes, and we hope as brand new people that you will come and join us and be a part of the tribe also and have fun with us learning. Okay, and it does. Yep, it leads to consistency. Uh, I haven't seen, I haven't been on social media at all yet, Diana. So if you want to share your post, put the link down there, and I'm happy to share your post today. All right, let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to share screen. And first... Of course, if you want to see the live replay, you are going to go over to the official Now Site corporate page, the official corporate Now Site group, and you will see the replays here. Replays are always here for you. So anytime you need a replay, you need to look for something, you need to find something, you can all find it right there. Okay. Now, let's do this. And okay. So, at the baby steps meeting, we'll show you how to onboard your AI, okay? Five easy questions, pretty simple to do, but we'll walk you through it. Once you have your AI um, actually onboarded, you're going to come over here to now.site, now.site, you'll log in, and this is where you will be. And you're going to see this little feature here. Now, this is for the new people or people who have been here before. This is really neat because... It has already made a social media post for you. It's already got that ready for you. So you could just click check it out and maybe you don't even know what you want to post, but you could come in, come over here and the AI is going to make your post super, super quick. And essentially what it's making for you is like a surprise me post. I don't know what's going on with my internet today. So essentially it's making what's called a surprise me post. So the first one I'm gonna show you right here is this button right here called surprise me. Surprise me is when you don't know what you wanna post, you don't know what you want, to, you just like, I have no idea today. And you want the AI to write something for you, okay? So if Cheryl Klo does this, Paul Vandeven does this, and I do this, they're all gonna sound different because the AI is gonna sound like us, not like each other. So for me, it says, 
I believe in the power of positive affirmations and mantras. They have the ability to inspire confidence and motivation in our lives. Today, I want to share one with you. I am capable of achieving great things. Repeat it daily and watch how it transforms your mindset and propels you towards success. Hashtag positive thinking, hashtag inspiration, hashtag motivation. Absolutely true for me. Like anybody who knows me knows this, the, the AI is dead on. And the photo is perfect. Be kind. That's that's my thing. I mean, just be nice. Be kind. World's got enough crap in it. We don't need any more. Okay. Now, that was for Facebook, though, right? If I go to Instagram, it's going to be different. Feeling motivated and ready to conquer the day? Repeat after me. I'm capable of achieving great things. Make this positive affirmation a part of your daily routine and watch as it empowers you to reach new heights. Let's embrace our potential and unlock our best selves. Now, LinkedIn is saying it for a different audience again. It is a professional audience. So as a personal business transformation coach and trainer, I've witnessed the true power of positive affirmations and mantras in helping individuals achieve their goals. Today, I want to share one that has made a significant impact on my journey. I am capable of achieving great things. Say this affirmation with conviction and let's drive it towards success. Believe in your own abilities and you'll be amazed by what you can accomplish. Hashtag mindset matters, hashtag inspiration, hashtag personal growth. Absolutely. And then we've got X. X used to be Twitter. And so you can do this one as well. Feeling like you need a boost of confidence? Repeat after me. I'm capable of achieving great things. Embrace the positive affirmation and let it fuel your motivation to overcome any obstacle that comes your way. Believe in yourself and watch the magic that happens. Now, every time you make these posts, you're going to see that each one of these has a different way that it's wrote. And you can post on all four platforms in just a few minutes. So you can get really consistent on all the platforms. Now, what platforms should you post on? Any ones that you will go back and actually watch, read the comments on and actually interact with. You know, it's better to be amazing on one platform than mediocre on six. You know, that's just, that's just my philosophy. If you're really having great interactions on Facebook and that's your place and you're like, I don't know if I really want to be on X and I'm not sure if I really want to do X. You don't have to do X. You don't have to do all four. But the more you're out there, the more conversations you can start. But remember, you need to go back and actually, you know, have those conversations and talk on the comments and post on other people's things. So remember, when we're talking about our, uh, I'm going to do this so I don't lose that post. When we're talking about the star system that now site uses, it's this right here. It's we post on social media. And then we comment on other people's posts. So yesterday during the five minutes, what did we do? We commented on other people's posts, right? Very easy to do with the system. And then we also start conversations. We start conversations based on those things. So which ones should you post on? Well, you should post on ones where you're going to post and where you will actually comment on other people's posts as well. So you can actually have the algorithm and you can um, start those conversations. Now, for our new people, there's a couple other buttons besides the surprise me. There's caption and suggested image. Caption and suggested image is going to give you the ability to get a post, have the AI write it for you, and they'll give you the photo for it. Remember, when you're posting on social media, your number one job first is to stop the scroll and then your second job is to get people to comment on your post so that you can actually start a conversation with them, okay? So those are the things, videos, bright colors, big uh, bright pictures, interesting pictures, all stop the scroll. Now, plain white doesn't, you know, this may be, you know, starting sending personal cards, um, photos, beautiful photos will stop the scroll, Pictures like this, like Tom, that stops the scroll. There's my friend Nicole from Rake Makers. She's, you know, these are the things. Look, Kathy Mays, isn't this adorable? Look at that. Is that just cute or what? That stops the scroll because you see all these bright colors. You see a cute picture. Kathy with a banana. Okay, that's just plain funny. I got to figure out what's going on with that. So, of course, oh, I don't know why I have balloons. So any of these things will stop the scroll, right? So these are things that you want to make sure that when you're doing a post, you think, is the photo that the AI is giving me 
stopping the scroll or is the photo that I have interesting enough that it would stop somebody from scrolling and reading my post? Okay, second part right here. Everybody's got that, right? Does everybody got that concept by now? We've talked about it a lot. I want to make sure you guys got it. Okay, caption my image and caption my video. These are the same pretty much. The only difference is you're either describing your image or you're describing your video. Remember, the AI is not giving you a video here. It is asking you what your video is about. So maybe you did a video that you're making into a reel, you're making it into a YouTube, you're making it into a TikTok. Uh, caption my image, same thing. You have an image, you took, a, you took a selfie, you took a picture at the beach, you took a picture with your Starbucks at your new favorite Starbucks that's right on the beach, which I went to this morning. Any of those kinds of things, you, you picture of your kids, family. Uh, Adrian takes pictures of pickleball. Stuff like that. Whatever it is, you put your image in, you tell it what you want it to be about, and it's going to generate a great caption for you. Short text only posts. This is a powerful way of being able to start conversations very fast on social media. So I'm going to come over here to my page. Now, this is mine, Elizabeth, uh, Facebook.com, e transforms you. And please feel free to friend me. I would love, I love friends and I have some friends requests that I need to accept in here, but friend or follow me, I'll give you some great information. And if you're friends with me, then if I see something on your posts, I can actually help you out with it because I'll actually see it on my newsfeed. So um, let me go down to one of my short text only. Okay, so short text only posts. What mindset work do you do every day to get to your goals? Let me know in the comments, seeking new inspiration and ideas. This would be an example of short text only posts, colored post, something that's bright, something that will stop the scroll because the bright color, it brings the attraction to the words. Somebody will read the words. And then of course, since I've asked a question, then you get a lot of comments. So that's a great way, example of a short text only post. Caption my video. And then of course, long post and suggested image. Should have just put the Elizabeth button on there. I tend to like a lot of words. I'm kind of like Tolstoy. Um, Adrian's nickname for me is War and Peace. So this one's great. And I'll tell you, I get a lot of traction with this one. Facebook and LinkedIn, both it works really well with. It gives, if you're going to give a lot of information about something, this is the one to do. A lot of information, uh, three tips of, to better health, three tips to reaching your goals in 2024, three tips to choosing a company to work with, three tips to starting your new business. Whatever those are, people love tips because people are always looking for things. You you think that they're mindlessly on, on scrolling on Facebook. They're not completely mindlessly doing that. They're scrolling, but they're also thinking the back of their head about their problems, what's going on in their life, their finances, the relationships that's not working and stuff. And unconsciously, they're looking for answers. So when you make these kinds of posts, you could be the answer for somebody who's searching for something different than what they're living right now. So these are the five right down here. The sixth one is the surprise me. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go ahead and do that surprise me again. Now, if you don't like the surprise me the first time, you can click surprise me again, and it will give you a second uh, post. It will say, okay, well, what what is it that Elizabeth really wants? She didn't like that one. What can I give her now that she will like? The cool thing about the surprise me is that if you don't know what you want to post, you're like, I have no idea. I'm not really inspired today. Maybe I'm exhausted from moving. And I know I need to be consistent on social media, though. I can absolutely hit surprise me until the AI gives me what I want. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to do anything. If I don't like the first one, I can hit surprise me again. Give me a different one. And then I can hit it again. Give me a different one. Hit it again. Give me a different one. See, it's not like blackjack where you're going to break the bank. You can actually hit this thing over and over and over and over and over again. Paul, you didn't like the blackjack joke. You are sick. You would have giggled at that. Come on, dude. <laughs> Paul is so sick and he's still helping me out today. So round of applause for Paul. Thank you, honey. Appreciate you so much. All right. So here's another one. There's nothing like the surge of adrenaline and exhilaration from a solid strength training session to lift my spirits. That is so true. And I got to find a new gym around here. So Kathy, if you know a gym around here, let me know. Uh, the clang of weights, the rhythm of my breath. It's the symphony for the soul. Tell me, fellow fitness enthusiasts, 
What's your go-to pump up routine? Let's share and conquer your fitness goals together. Now, the really cool thing about a post like this is that if you are in a health and wellness network marketing company, this kind of post will start a great conversation that could lead to your products. So if you do patches like Paul does, or if you do a health thing like Kathy Mays does, any of these will do really great of starting conversations like this, okay? So this is great. Remember on X, it's going to be a difference. So nothing beats the rush from a killer strength training. Ah, shish. It's my instant pick me up. What moves get, all get you charged up? Share your power playlist. Same thing with all of these. So we're going to go ahead and make a post. I haven't done X in a while. So we're going to go ahead and do X. I'll hit get started and I'm going to post. Now it's going to allow me to download this uh, photo right here. And I'm going to download it and then I'm going to hit post. Then it's going to open up X. As soon as it does, remember X was Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and put in my picture. So hopefully the picture comes up. And then I'm just going to paste everything in there. So remember when you click that, you got the started button. All of the text automatically saves to your clipboard. So remember when I hit this button right here, the get started. The text up here automatically uh, downloads to my clipboard, okay? You only have to download the photo. Now I've got the photo here. Now I've got that. Now I'm going to hit post. Done. Perfect. There's my photo. There's my um, post. And that is it. So you can modify a post. You can ask it to be more informal or funny. You can, uh, you have that in the editor. So before I do the five minutes, I'm gonna show you that real quick. When you come over here, you can come over to AI right here and you can regenerate. I can make it shorter. I can make it longer. I can make it more persuasive. I can make it more humorous. I can make it more excited. I can make it more formal. I can change the language. I can turn it into French. I can make it Chinese. I can make it Korean. I can make it Spanish, whatever language I want, Romanian. All these different languages are available also. I can also change the length of it and I can give it special instructions. Maybe I want to say, ask a question at the end, or maybe I want to say, take a specific word out. I can do that as well. So all of those are available. So let's go ahead and make a post. Make a either a surprise me post or a random post, whatever post you want to make. We're kind of going to do a free post today. And so whatever post you want to do, let's go ahead and get at least one post done. We'll come back. We're going to showcase some posts and we'll add, do some Q&A as soon as we're done. So let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to put the five minute timer up. We'll put the music up because Kathy Mays likes the music. So we're going to do the music. And um, when we come back, if you want to showcase your post and you have or you have questions about your post, I want you to raise your hand like Jennifer Bishop over here is done over the left hand side. She's raised her hand because she's ready. And then I'd love you to put the link to your social media in the chat because it makes it faster for me to find it, okay? And you do that by, I will show you how to do that real quick, just so you know, so nobody's left behind. Okay, when you come over to your, try to get this, when you come over to your own social media here, this link right here, E transforms you this whole website address up here. That's what you're going to copy and put in the chat. And I'm going to put it right here in the chat. So now you know what it looks like. So whether it's Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, doesn't matter. If you put the link over there, it just makes it faster for me to find your, uh, your thing. So let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to put the five minute timer up. Go do your post so you stay consistent. When we come back, we'll showcase posts. And we'll answer, do Q&A. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so in the chat real quick, let's... You didn't see the timer, Paul? Really? What'd you see? We just heard We just heard the music. How bizarre is that? It's so weird. All right. Well, five minutes, yay. Okay, we're done. Uh, you saw my Facebook. Oh, my Facebook page, really? Oh, I am tired. Sorry, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and share some posts here. And Jennifer had her hand up first, so I'm going to run over to her. Let me try to get these in order. 
got Sue, got Lucy. Do, 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 do. Okay. Make sure you put your links in the chat for me so I can find. All right, girl, let's get going. All right, tell me what you're doing. Good morning. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you. Um, I'm so happy you got moved. So I um just super quick. My Facebook was hacked in December and mm -hmm. um then Facebook deleted me. And so I'm starting all over. I used to have almost 7,000 Facebook friends and mm -hmm. followers. So it's not gonna take me down. I'm gonna come back stronger. I had been getting likes and and things but now i am not and like for the last few days and i have been going in and giving love okay. commenting like using now site and the last few days i have like zero so i'm like what is going on what's happening um first of all are you asking questions on your posts yes 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 okay so um so let's look at this one right here First, it's a video, so uh -huh. which which is fine. It's a type of reel. Mm -hmm. Um, so this morning I'm I so when I first come to this post, let me let me do this. I'm mm -hmm. gonna go like this. Okay. So most video things like this, I actually over scroll. Do you do a lot of videos or do you do a lot more regular posts and do you do more of you? So let's kind of look, let's kind of scroll down your page and kind of examine this. So first of all, yeah. video things like this, because I don't watch a lot of reels, I try not to watch a lot of reels. I will actually go over a reel like this, even though you've got some things on there, I'll read your wording personally. Now I know other people that will watch this. So remember, you've got four personality types. I am only one. So that doesn't mean that this is wrong. That just means me personally, I won't, I won't really watch it. Um, so I see, okay, she's working out. She's working out. What do I see on here? Uh, don't cheat. The Chinese sign will predict. Okay. I, I don't really normally participate in these sometimes do jumping back into TikTok. This doesn't really do anything for me. Okay. Uh, the, the real key to longevity is self-discipline. Okay, but it doesn't give me a call or a direction of you wanting to start a conversation with me. So I read it and I'm like, okay, the real key to longevity is discipline. Thanks for the info. And I scroll past. So this doesn't really, okay, that sounds like an ad. So I'm not, I'm not, now this is cute. That photo should be above this one though. Mm -hmm. I would actually do that photo above, but and then caution long posts. I'm not the biggest person about the caution long posts because as soon as you say that, then I'm like, you're you're telling me I don't I should I'll waste my time by reading this. That's mm -hmm. the way I always react to those. So that doesn't do a lot for me. Uh, videos don't do a lot for me. So and but remember, I am only one of four personality types. Uh, this will get me. But I would always uh, put instead of amen, I would put something with a question in there. Question. about this statement so i'm not seeing a lot of things that are conversation starters okay so everything for me so, so when here's something to think about and this is for everybody when you're making a post think about what you want the end result of that post to be mm -hmm. value for me <laughs> it's always value giving value okay but what is the other thing because you don't work for free start a conversation Perfect. Okay. So you want to give a lot of value and you mm -hmm. want to start a conversation and you want to start a conversation to see if something is a match with somebody else that you guys can collaborate on together, whether it is your business, whether it's your product, if it's somebody that you can serve, if it's somebody that you can help. Mm -hmm. So when we start conversations, best way to start conversations are talk about things that they're interested in and cre creating questions. So okay. one thing that you could do is maybe do some short text only posts okay. that Ask short text with just a question, just to start a conversation and something. Okay. Don't everybody do this. Okay. And uh, seriously, don't do this. If you're not going to really follow through with it, please don't do this. If you're not going to follow through with it, please seriously. Cause you have to follow the whole thing out. If you're going to do something like this. <clears throat> 
And and you have to be of a stable mind. Don't do this when you're pissed off or angry or anything else either. Okay, I'm going to give you a couple of warnings with this. Okay, because the, because this could this could backfire you on you big time if if you don't do it right. But um, starting a thing. Oh crap! Hold on one second, guys. Sorry, my setup is still not right, and my battery is about ready to die, and I don't want it to. So give me one one second here, and uh, I got to fix this real quick. I'm going to end up without a light, but oh, well, it's going to be okay. Because you know what? We can do what we got to do, right? I'm impressed you're here, Elizabeth, with such a huge transformation of everything. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You do what you got to do, right? I mean, that's that's the big thing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I just lost my camera, didn't I? All right. Hold on. Come on. Come on. You can do this. So I'm going to give you a secret. Thing. You can do hard things. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like, this can work. This can work. Come on, camera. You can do it. Come back on. You got this. You got this. Come on. You got it. We'll see if we really got it. Do we got it? <gasps> Yay. Okay. All right. So here's the thing. I'm going to give you some guys something, but don't do this when you're mad. Don't do this out of spite because it will backfire on you big time. Okay. And, and do it when you're in a good mood and only do it once in a while. Controversial conversations, okay? Now, let me qualify this. Don't ever get into politics, okay? Please leave that one alone because that one will blow up in your face all the time. It will not work. But one that does really work is if you are a woman, I can't believe I'm going to teach you guys this. Adrian may kill me. <clears throat> If you're a woman, post on your Facebook. All right, men, how can us women respect you more in a relationship? Boom, you will get like 50 or 60 comments like that. Same thing for men. Men, if you post, hey, ladies, how can us men be better in relationships for you? Boom, you will have a ton of comments because people are thinking about these kinds of things. Now, here's the thing. This is how you follow through on that, though. As somebody makes a comment, say, hey, thanks for the info. Thanks for this, stuff like that, and start conversations through those comments. Eventually, those comments can lead to other kinds of conversations towards your business product and stuff like that. But it's a booster to your algorithm because people will start having all these conversations and suddenly Facebook will be like, oh, this person's interesting. People are interested in this person and stuff like that. But never do it mad. Never do it in spite. Never do it like when you're in a pissy mood or anything like that, because I promise you it will backfire on you if you have any, if you have any um, false intent in it, it will, it will really backfire on you. But if you're really starting great conversations, that's another one. Um, some other easier ones to start with short text only posts, uh, things like, hey, what do you guys think? Should I be vegan? And Nina will put on there, oh, heck yeah, these are the reasons why. And then the keto people will get on there and say, no, this is really a better thing and stuff like that. And always qualify it. Hey, love only. We're not here, you know. But there's a lot of ways. There's Nina. I knew she was here. So there's a lot of different ways that we can start these conversations. And short text only posts will really get your algorithm going fast in conversations. But make sure you do it in a way that is always in peace and love and joy and kindness to everyone. Do not ever let that backfire on you. Does that make sense? Can't believe yes, I just taught you. you that, Jennifer. Oh. I think it's great. Thank okay. you. I know. Well, I used to have really good. And again, I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? What am I not doing? So thank you. Hopefully somebody else learned from this question. <laughs> I'm Yay. Like All right. And, and you know, it's not that videos are bad, but when I see videos as reels, I just scroll past them. But if I see somebody's live or something, or somebody goes live, or somebody has a full video where it's actually something that's mm. not just a reel, I watch those. But if reels show up on, on, on the feed like that, just on your, your, like those things, I just don't ever watch them. I don't know why. I just never click on them. So, but again, I'm only one personality type out of four. So there are other people that probably do. I, I was feeling pretty brave to even get in front of the camera and do work. I, 
I thought that was great, but I, I, I almost, I almost wish it wasn't just as a reel that it was like you actually talking and teaching why you're doing this. It does. Uh, it is like, okay. it's me teaching, but I did a reel and then I did a Facebook post. Oh, is okay. there a way that you cannot show your reel on your Facebook feed? I believe so. And I, yeah, there is. And I don't remember what that is. Karen, Karen's, you, Karen's Karen, has do, you remember how, up. do you remember how we do that? Yeah, there's just an option there uh, when you go in settings. Option so and settings, don't, okay. And, and you, another thing you could do, you could always delete it, like from the, just the profile by clicking on the three dots. Mm -hmm. It'll remove it if you do post it and you, you don't want it there. Yeah. So it'll still show up in my reels, mm -hmm. but not show up on yeah. my Facebook feed. Oh, yeah. good. Okay. Thanks. It'll say just, yeah. just remove from profile grid, or you can uh -huh. put in the settings not to have it go into your profile in the first place, which is better. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. No, that's great. Cause I don't want to see multiple things of the same thing. And I was like, how do I not do that? So thank you. See, yeah, always learning. I hey. was told by some people who were experts that it's good to have the same thing on multiple platforms because you have different eyes. Right. So it's not a bad thing to have it. Yeah. On your yeah. profile. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks. let's go over to Sue and uh, thanks for your question, Jennifer. All right. Good morning, so Elizabeth. Good morning. Tell me about your post. Well, I did a surprise me actually. And um, hey. I changed the photo though. I didn't want just a boring photo of the uh, pickleball racket with the pickleball on it. Right. So this is a photo of moi playing um, about a year ago, two years ago. I love it. Yeah. Now, you know, Adrian's a huge pickleball fan, right? I Every time he says it, I smile and my heart leaps. Woo. Yeah. Okay. So, so today, so today's all about the love for pickleball. Can you feel the excitement through the screen? It's not just a game. It's a dance on the court while mastering the art of precision and agility. And oh, the thrill of a well-placed shot. Yeah, baby. So how about you? Drop a comment and tell me about the hobbies and that get your heart racing. Let's spread some joy. Absolutely love this post. Now, here's the neat thing that I love about what you just said, Sue. Everybody, did everybody get what she said? She said she did a surprise me post. So she wasn't intending on posting about pickleball. She did a surprise me post. It gave her a post that she really liked. And then she thought, I've got a photo that matches that. You can absolutely do that, okay? So you can use a surprise me post at times when you just, you're just you just like, I don't know what I want to post. Use that and then either use the photo that it gives you or decide to use your own photo as well. Either one that you can do. So that was awesome. Thanks for sharing that. Thanks for having me. Yay. All right. Give me one second. Let's go over to the next one. And all right. And Lucy, let's get to you next. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Um, okay, so I post, I did the one, uh, caption my image. This one right here? Yes. Look at what a cute photo that is. Like that is just precious. And that dog is precious also. Okay. So in the sunshine with Luna by my side, I am reminded dogs are not just pets. They're heart healthy heroes. From reducing stress to encouraging a more active lifestyle, these furry friends have a paw. I can't even read that with my contacts. I need to make the screen a little bigger. There we go. I really need to get new contacts. Uh, Paul Stivit impact in our life. Oh, Paul Stivit. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, positive. Did the AI actually write that for you like that? Yes. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, impact on our lives. As someone who champions overall well-being, it's clear that the happiness our uh, pup spring is more than just tail wags. I love this, Lucy. This is fantastic. So my question is, I'm bilingual. My first language is Spanish. Oh, beautiful. Um, how do I balance that? English, Spanish, or uh, what is your suggestion? Okay, so I, I'm going to tell you a couple of different things. And then do we have any other bilingual people here who are doing social media? Ariel. Okay, so let's get Ariel too. So here's the thing. One, it this is the problem. I On my newsfeed, when I see my newsfeed, 
I have friends that are German and Spanish and um, multi-language. The problem is, is that when it's in a language I can't see, I don't immediately, if it doesn't translate automatically, I don't automatically, you know, I'm not interacting with the post. So Ariel, let's ask Ariel. Ariel, have you been able to overcome that in being able to post in both languages on your feed and still get reactions and comments? Well, uh, thank you for that question. <clears throat> fantastic, fantastic today. <laughs> well, I tell you something, you see, when we are posting to Engl uh, English, Spanish people, we have to be careful the way how we use the words, because, for example, when we say, uh, when we say, for example, uh, I have it here, um, relationship for you means something that is completely different for us. Right. So we say, we say friendship. Friendship in English is much better to say because means that people are looking for a real friend, not for a yeah. for a, to have somebody. But in Spanish, right. in Spanish, is simple. It's the other way around. So yeah. what I do, for example, I uh, when I talk to French speaking or English speaking people, I just go into my editor and they put it for me in the right way. So that's how I I go that's around. That's how you deal with it. So that that's that's the way how you use your words sometimes, and you know. So we just we just do the yeah. best. People will by looking at you, they say, "Oh, this guy from somewhere over there." So. You know, but you had to admit that you had to, first of all, especially Spanish speaking people, we had to be happy with what we have. We are right. Latin and we have to always say, I'm Latin and I'm happy to be in this country and blah, blah, blah. But don't be shy. No, no, just go mm -hmm. for it. And people will love well, you because you are yourself. So, yeah. And and one other thing, um, Lucy, what I would love to do is I'm going to ask, actually ask if some of our German team can come on tomorrow and say how they're doing it in both languages and getting success since they're bilingual also. So let me see if any of our German team can come on here tomorrow and kind of give some suggestions also if you can come back tomorrow. And I think that'll be really helpful because I think the thing that there's this automatic translation thing that happens. I also have another friend she does, um, she is from Denmark. And so she posts in two languages also and uh, gets a lot of results there. So I'm going to see if she can come on tomorrow and also to, to help answer some of those questions about being bilingual. Will that be helpful for you, Lucy? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, because I've been posting like one day I post in Spanish, one day I post in English. Uh huh. So I just want to know if I'm doing the right thing. I am, since I'm using this now side, I've been getting some followers. Oh, good. Yeah, I noticed that they, ooh, I'm almost got to 2,000, so <laughs> I need eight more. But I'm getting some followers, but I guess it's always on my mind. Should I continue in English or should I continue in Spanish? So, yeah, and, and one thing, you know, another, I know one of my friends actually has two Facebook accounts and she does the exact same post in English on the English one and then does the oh, Spanish okay. on the Spanish one. Um, I don't know if that's more beneficial or not, but let me ask my German team if they can come over and tomorrow come on here and see how they're doing the bilingual on theirs and how it's working out for them. Tomorrow's Saturday, so we're going to be. Oh, here. no, no, no. Yeah, not Saturday, Monday. Sorry, okay. Monday. Yeah. I'll In fact, here. I will text her today and see if she can come on Monday and see if that will work for her. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thanks for your question, Lucy. Okay, I want to make sure to ask answer questions because the pumpkin alarm has gone off and I have to give this back over to Adrian. So any questions for anybody who has their hand raised right now, were any of you questions? Not showcasing posts, but questions. Anybody have questions? No questions. Okay. Manny had a uh, Cheryl has a question. Cheryl Clow has a question. Diana has a question, and Manny has a question. Okay. Let's start start with Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. Cheryl Hi. Clow, not Clow. Oh, I, I'm going to correct that. The company out there in Iowa is called Clow, and mm. you are Clo. Okay. Hi, honey. Hi. I just have a problem transferring additional pictures to a post. Mm -hmm. Could you show us that again? Sure. Is it after it's posted or before it's posted? Hmm. After it's posted. Perfect. Okay. 
So the way you do that is you're going to come back over into like, you come over to Facebook and let's say like, I've got all these posts and some of uh, some of these I did afterwards. Okay. So I'm going to click the three dots right here. If I want to add even more photos to this, I'm going to click these three dots and then I'm going to click on edit post. When I edit the post, I can click add photos and videos and I can add more photos and videos or I can X off any of the ones I don't want on here. So mm -hmm. I can get rid of ones and then I can add them all and then I can edit all of them at once if I want to. And editing all is really basically better for, um, you know, if you want to like tag people in each specific photo and stuff like that. I don't do a lot of that, but it works great for that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, where did Manny go? Did Manny have a question? Manny did not have a question. Okay. Any other questions? No other questions? Everybody else was showcase post? Ah, Deanna had a question. Okay. And remember, Baby Steps meeting starts at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific. So if you need specific, like I need to do this step by step and you want me to hold your hand to do it, I am there. Uh, we will be there at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific. And we're just going to go through the little steps of using the system. Deanna. Yeah, the photo that AI provides. Yes. When I try to save it. Uh huh. Uh, my computer it doesn't save so then i always have to go in and find something else of my own that i can use it'll show up maybe a day later so how do you how do you save what they 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 show okay so the photo is either downloaded to your computer or not it can't download later than the date that you're working with it so on that premise yeah never let's, let's start that. from there yeah so do you have a mac or windows uh mac Okay, so on your Mac, when you click Get Started, there should be a box that opens up where it's saying to download the photo, and you have to choose where to download the photo. Oh, yeah, I never, uh, when I did that again today, I couldn't see anything that told me about that to, to where to download it to. Okay, what browser are you using? Are you using Chrome or uh, Safari? Uh, Firefox. Ew. Um, Firefox, it may be that you have a downloads folder in Firefox. So yeah. Firefox is a little bit of a different browser. So when you download something from Firefox uh, on the internet in Firefox, Firefox usually has its own downloads folder. Is that correct? Where it downloads somewhere and you always have your downloads of, you know, whether yeah. you're downloading a pro that's where your photos should be ending up at. You may have it set to automatically download something with your Firefox, and it's in that Firefox downloads folder. All right. I'll try again. Okay, thanks. Okay. You're welcome. All right. Pumpkin alarm's done. Um, if you didn't get your questions answered, you want to showcase your post, come back Monday. I'm happy. And make sure you raise your hand first, and I'll showcase your post first. Um, baby steps meeting for the onboarding is at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 noon Pacific. Uh, excited to have anybody there who needs a little extra help with that. Feel free to unmute and say bye. We're going to wrap up here. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful bye, Elizabeth. weekend. Bye, Love you guys. Have a wonderful Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Cheryl. Love you guys. So beautiful. Bye.